Hey, y'all. Y'all, so this is another one of those kits that Parker built by himself. And I get to make. We're going to use a 15-inch frame. We are going to do these with 20-inch uh, ruffles on the top and then two 10-inch curls on the bottom. So we need eight 20-inch cuts. Now we need 20 10 inch cuts. All right, y'all, we have our 15 inch frame. Y'all, I like to just go ahead and get all of these ready. That way it's just ready, ready to go. Y'all, we're gonna take two of our 10 inch cuts. We're gonna roll them up. Put them in a cross, a little X. And then we're gonna add one of these X's all the way around the bottom. Y'all, now this step is super important. Make sure you pull those twist ties as tight as you can. Uh, that'll keep your mesh from flipping all around. This is called heavy foil mesh. All right, so now we're gonna take our 10 inch mesh. We're gonna curl up the two ends. And then we're just gonna ruffle it right down the center. All right, so now we have this little bow tie. All right, now we're gonna add this right in there. And get it twisted. Y'all, and the only reason we curl those edge, the only reason we curl those edges is so that we can hide those cuts a little bit. So on this particular design, I think I'm going to put my circle up here on the corner, and then we'll put our bows this way, and then we'll build up right behind it. All right, y'all, this one comes with two holes already in it. So I'm going to use those. All right, but y'all, I'm not, if you just put a, uh, a pipe cleaner at the top and at the bottom, it also like wiggles a little bit on your wreath. So I wanna make sure I get something on each side. So I'm gonna use my super glue and get just a little dab. Y'all, when you use super glue, the more you put, the worse it gets. Okay, if you add a ton of super glue, the glue stays wet and fall and it doesn't hold. Just put a little bit of super glue. That way it dries quicker and gets a better hold. Somehow I got two different kinds. Y'all also understand that Mardi Gras people are extra. 
Like, everything is a, over and above for Mardi Gras. The more gaudy, the better it is. So I want to get it where just a little bit of the mesh shows. Y'all, so we're just going to get that pipe cleaner right through the mesh. So y'all, I want to do a little bit larger bow here and then build up slightly smaller as we get higher. So let's measure out about a 12, uh, let's just do 10, 12 inch tail. Give it a little twist. Let's do about a seven inch loop. Ribbon is so expensive. Ribbon is expensive, that's right. Let's get this one cut. All right, we're gonna follow the same with our one and a half. You love the black and gold? Yeah. All right. Y'all, let's get these twisted off. All right, get this nice and pinched down. All right, now y'all, to get your bow really tight, twist your bow, not your rip, not your twist ties. All right, y'all, we're gonna need two more like this. So let's just knock those out of the way. So let's find the bow that we did first. Should be a little bit bigger. And we're gonna add it down here at the bottom. Our bow is far enough away that it doesn't cover up Mardi Gras. All right, let's get our other bows on here.
Y'all, we've done our dovetailing. Now we need to get some ribbon tails right around here. All right. So because um, we're gonna use two sets of tails, we only need five of each cut. These ribbons have diamonds, and these have diamonds, so I'm going to swap those out. All right, so we're going to put our two together, fold them in half, open them up. Get a little pinch. And then we're gonna put this all the way around the bottom. All right. So we're just gonna do this and we're gonna work our way all the way around. So the tails on this one are going just on the outside ring. The foil mesh is a heavy foil. We cut uh, 20 pieces at 10 inches and we did 10 inch curls around the base. And then we had eight pieces at 20 inches and did ruffles around the top. So we wanna get a little bit more ribbon tail right here. And one right up here. Let's get that other ribbon tail right up here. All right. Y'all. There we go. 